the healthy nails blueprint. If you struggle with the nails, maybe they're brittle, this is what we're breaking down. To guide you while we go, I've laid out my resource guide and this will have and break down as I go, my research step-by-step -step as we go here. And we're gonna break down nail health. All right, nails, five top disorders and solutions for nail health. Number one condition, brittle nails. It's an indication of poor nutrition. It's especially low vitamin A, C, or biotin. Also could be tied to the thyroid. Okay, if there's pitting on the nails, this is often indicative of an autoimmune condition going on, psoriasis, alopecia. If you have horizontal ridges, this can be a zinc deficiency. Also can be struggling with your blood sugars and kidney levels. If you have vertical ridges, those are common with aging, but it could mean an iron deficiency as well. If you have a lot of yellowing of the nails, this can be a fungus. We're gonna talk about that in a second. Could also be the thyroid or sugar levels. Just generally the system is really struggling. If you have pale colored nails, that could be you don't have enough of those nutrients anemia or metabolic disorders. Uneven lines can be autoimmune related and a black line could just be injury, could be heart related, or it could be skin cancer related. So don't mess around with the black lines unless you know it was an injury. So some of these I won't cover or go deep into, but I want to give you what are my nails telling me about my health? Well, there it is. So what do we do? How do we help the health of these nails? So brittle, separation, nail fungus, psoriasis, and a different type of nail fungus. Okay, nail infection, nail fungus can be different. Now, a little bit of a warning for you. I am gonna show you a couple pictures. Some people don't like seeing anything close to that. I tried to make them more like subtle ones. I'm not gonna show you some big gross fungus thing, but someone's nasty toes. Some people will post them up online. You're like, come on, I didn't wanna see your big toenail. But I do have a couple of pictures in here. So it's like just giving you a heads up, trying to be very disrespectful. Not trying to gross you out, just trying to play doctor here and give you an idea what these things look like. But I tried to soften the image as much as I could. So for example, number one, right? We've got brittle nails here and they can be kind of flaky. They can be kind of pale. An example of what some of these look like. I wanted to make sure I had some pictures with it. Gotta get biotin in, gotta get silica in. Absolutely need oligo elements. Iron, iodine, cobalt, chromium, selenium, zinc, copper, manganese. Oligo elements are mostly driving this. You're missing the micronutrients of your body, oligo elements. And then amino acids, especially cysteine, really help to improve this. So biotin helps improve the synthesis of lipid molecules that produce how the nail binds to the nail bed. That's what biotin does it. And so that's why it's huge when you start using higher doses of biotin that you see such a difference with the strength of your nails because it helps anchor them to that bed. Zinc also crazy important and well studied for the hardness of those nails. So if you don't have enough of it and your nails are real soft, you're probably missing zinc. So if nails are brittle, they're flaking, they're pale color, get your nutrients in. Number two, separation of the nail bed, also called onkylosis. So biotin we just talked about plays a big role with this. See how I used the infographic icon version here to help you out? But your nail bed starts pulling up, like the top of it starts pulling up and pulling away, unless you smashed it. But this separation that's going on, you wanna clip away the separated area, as long as you're not hurting yourself, when it gets kind of grown out, and it take a couple of weeks to kind of clip all that away. Don't be overly aggressive with that nail bed. Treat it with care, it's like a flower bed. We gotta get it fertilized again, and we gotta get the bad balances out of there. It's like you're balancing the nitrogen in the soil and how it's balancing, right? That's what's happening here. So we wanna trim away the bad, trim the garden, trim the plants back. We wanna spray with fertilizer, and then we don't want to over clean it or over disturb it. Keratin, collagen, biotin, those are the main ones to get in there to help the growth of that. So if you're dealing with separation from the nail bed and your nails are starting to peel back. Problem number three, a nail infection. Now you softer image is here, but you could get this on your toe. I gave you the thumb image to spare you some of the grossness, but more so on the toe where it's kind of got the swollen to it. It's down in the nail bed down into here. So like at the very bed of it, you've got this swelling, you've got this increase, you've got even a yellowness, you've got a redness. Now, Wetness is gonna make this worse. We wanna keep this dry. We don't wanna damage it further. We don't wanna be overusing it. We don't wanna be stepped. You gotta have to rest it. And you wanna make sure nothing that irritates it. Now that's obvious, but you'd be surprised. People just kinda push through this, keep walking on it, keep damaging it. I'm like, you are crushing that nail bed. You could also do a soak if we're suspecting fungus, which a lot of times it is related to that. So you're gonna go two parts cornmeal, one part water, mix that up, soak your feet in it, like in a little tray, container, something you can put your feet in, like a cake pan. Just wash the pan well when you're done. But cornmeal and water, cornmeal and water. And you can't really mess it up, right? Just put a bunch of cornmeal in and then put a bunch of water in and soak your feet in this area, soak the bad areas. You could also take a half a teaspoon 
of baking soda twice a day. A lot of people don't know this one. If you're in extreme pain and you have like a toe, gout, inflammatory flare up, you could do a half teaspoon of baking soda once or twice a day. I wouldn't do this every day I'm going, okay? Hear me on that. But just for a couple of days or a week, it helps to take the body from acidic, inflamed acidic, and bring it to alkaline quickly. So just use a clean form of baking soda. I like to find one that doesn't have heavy metals in it. People are like, where do you find that at? We don't find it at Walmart. I can give you that. It's not next to Arm & Hammer. You usually have to go to a health food store to find it. We'll actually say no heavy metals, like heavy metal tested, because a lot of those end up with heavy metals in them. You just gotta watch the powders. But that's a way to quickly gut flare up or this kind of flare up, just give some relief, address the long-term cause. Here's the short-term action steps. Nail bed infection. Next is psoriasis of the nails, of the skin, of the hair. Epsom salt baths, I like to get some relief. I like aloe vera on the nails and the skin for the affected areas. Number five, most common, just simple nail fungus. Again, I spared you a little bit. Hopefully you kind of have an idea of the yellowing of the nail. A lot of times in the feet, you've got to have patience with this, okay? There's multiple things to try. You might consider later in the day doing an apple cider vinegar right on there, an apple cider vinegar soaked where you cut it with water, or or doing the corn cornmeal soak. This one tends to have the most success. At nighttime, you're soaking, you know, 20, 30 minutes. It's cornmeal mixed with warm water. Put your feet in a bucket, a pan, something that's gonna fit those things, or foot if it's both feet or one, and soak the nail beds, and you gotta get that cornmeal on them. And you're just sitting, hanging out, watching TV, soaking your feet. Nail fungus, what do I do, doc? Have patience, soak them at night with one of those two, apple cider or cornmeal. Okay, you can try either. Give it a month. Give it 45 days. It takes time with this one. But that's how you can more naturally combat it. If you got a flared up infection, something's bad, this is not replacing getting yourself medical care when you have a major problem. But before things get to that point, let's get a little proactive and do some things to help the environment of our toes, of our fingers, of our hands to take better care of our nails. That's what I'm saying. So to help these things out, brittle nails, the pits, the ridges. We talked about the funguses and everything. The pale nails, the uneven lines. Give the nails the nutrients they need. Biotin, silica, oligo elements, keratin, and amino acids from collagen. That's what they require.